Welcome back to the Major Mitch YouTube channel. Today's episode, we're back on the 67 Camaro and I'm fixing the rusty windshield channel. And I'm gonna show you how I made my patches, cut out the old pieces, and welded in the new pieces. So be sure to stick around. So right now I'm doing some rust repair on the cow box area of the Camaro, but while I wait for parts, I need to fix this area of the roof up here. You can see some water was laying in here and it just rusted this area out. So luckily, this is some of the only rust in the car and it kind of continues over here but this shouldn't be too bad. So I'm probably gonna end up cutting it from about here, maybe to about here, probably right, maybe a little over, right before that little stud. So I should be able to cut all this out. And then to replace these rivets, or these little trim nubs, I got these rivets from Panhandle Auto Fasteners on eBay. To make my patch panels, I'm gonna use several metal working tools from Eastwood. The first one is the metal shear to cut my strips of metal. Then I'll use the brake to bend the metal. And then I'll use a combination of the shrinker and the stretcher, which will literally grab the metal and stretch it, or it'll shrink it, which will create these compound curves to form around the windshield channel. So I have my patch clamped on one side and if I hold it down over here, you can see how big of a gap there is here. This panel also curves this way. So I'm also gonna have to stretch this flange to get this part to close up. And then after that, I should be able to pull it tight and then go over here with a Sharpie, mark out how much you need to trim off. Just keep whittling this panel down, file the roof to get it nice and flat and this thing's ready to go. I'm gonna start out by tack welding it along this edge. That way I can kind of flex this as needed just to get it to line up real nice. Once I tack it, you can see there's just a little bit of hammering off to do in this area. Then I'll go ahead and spot weld it and I'll space my tacks out. That way we don't warp this. I have my air over here just to keep everything nice and cool so we don't overheat anything. So let's take my time. I'm gonna to try to run the welder a little bit hot just so we get good penetration. That way when we grind it back, we know we still have a good weld. So now it's time to repair the driver's side and you can see there's quite a few holes here. So I ran this channel through the stretcher. I just tried to do an even amount the whole way through, put the jaws about halfway down and use fairly light pressure. And you can see just by doing one pass, how much shape is in this panel.
Once I finished welding and grinding in the driver patch, I was really happy with the way that turned out, but now I need to add these little nubs here that grab the, the windshield trim clips. So originally it looks like they were welded on, there's nothing on the back, but they sell ones that are like rivets. So I drilled a 3 32nd hole, slipped that in there, and just like any other rivet, use your riveting tool, and it sucks them up nice and tight. So I left marks whenever I, before I cut the piece out, I put a mark on here just so I wouldn't lose track of where this, where this guy lived. And then it's about a quarter inch up from the bottom. Like I said, it's made by marks the whole way around. I put pieces of tape on there with the dimensions in between them, just in case I would lose something. I don't know how critical those dimensions are, but I figured better safe than sorry. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm really happy with the way this repair turned out. It's super solid in this windshield channel, so now I need to move to the back window, do all the repairs back there, and I'll also do some patchwork in this area where there's a couple little holes, but I need to figure out a good way to safely remove the lead that's here and in a couple other places in the car before I make that repair. So I got a lot of work to do. I'll catch you guys later.